As we count down to the NFL draft in Detroit, the family of a former Detroit Lions running back who was a superstar in the football field and in business are making sure their dad's legacy is not forgotten. Before it was popular to do so, when Mel Farr's playing days were over, he emerged as an auto industry leader, raking in billions of dollars in sales. Well, on April 24th, a day before the NFL draft, a tribute to Mel Farr will be held in Detroit and the community is welcome to the party. Fighting high prices to bring you a far better deal. Who can forget those Mel Farr superstar commercials? Yes, I'm fighting high prices. Flying in a superhero cape and suit, selling cars. Mel was one of the first black athletes to transition from professional sports successfully to business. Farr played seven seasons with the Lions and was a two-time pro bowler. By the late 90s, the Mel Farr Automotive Group became the nation's largest black-owned auto dealership, earning more than a half billion in revenues, according to Black Enterprise magazine. Farr's three children, Mel Jr., Mike, and Monet Bartel, have all come together to create a tribute to their dad, centering around the NFL draft. So to honor my father, who was number 24 for the Detroit Lions, on the 24th, in the 24th year, at the 2024 NFL Draft in Detroit, I mean, God put it all together. It will be held at One Mike in Detroit, the comedy club launched by comedian and actor Mike Epps and the Reverend Horace Sheffield. What will the event be on the 24th to honor your father's legacy? It will be fashion, it will be food, and it will be comedy. Monet, who is a fashion designer in Atlanta, will have a 24-piece collection at the show. Former NFL players will be signing autographs, and the who's who of comedy will be performing. It is to reintroduce him to some people and introduce him to an entire generation that, you know, that really doesn't know who my father is. Mike, who followed in his dad's footsteps playing football, and his brother Mel do football camps promoting education and scholarship, but they're hoping this tribute will lead to something much greater. The part that excites me is about the center that we're going to be building in the honor of my dad that helps promote and advance black businesses that will be in the city of Detroit. And while lawsuits about economy and financial challenges caused Mel Farr's business empire to close in the early 2000s, his legacy and love for Detroit will never be forgotten. He lived in the city. He loved the city. He wanted to be a part of the re revitalization of the city. He wanted to be a part of the city coming back. I asked what their dad, who died suddenly in August of 2015, would think about this tribute. I think he'd be excited for the draft. I think he'd be excited for the city because I think that's huge for the city. You know, he, he wasn't about himself. He was about his, his helping other people. The 24 event is open to the public. The doors will open at 7 p.m. The comedy show kicks off at 9. And if you would like more information, head to our website at WXYZ. Dot com. You know, I know Mel had challenges, you know, during his career, but, you know, his legacy stands. I mean, he was an amazing football player and truly a trailblazer in business. Yeah, it's easy to forget that people like that needed to harness that to make it possible for others to do it after. A absolutely. Yeah. And so his kids want to showcase that. So I think it's a wonderful thing. All right. Don't forget, Channel 7 is your home for the NFL Draft. The countdown to the draft, our first of four NFL Draft specials will air Thursday. April 18th from 7 to 8 p.m. only here on 7.